Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more concept in our Power BI tool. So how to draw the column chart. So here we are having a two different uh, column charts, clustered column chart as well as the stacked column chart. So we'll see in this session, we'll see how to draw the column charts and how can we do the analysis, which we can't do in our Excel. Right. So in our previous sessions, we have discussed that Power BI tool is similar to the Excel in order to true, uh, draw the graphs. But there will be a special functionality here. So we can also do the analysis with the graphs. So there will be a relation among different graphs. So that we'll see in our today's session. Right. So first, let me open the Power BI tool. So this is a Power BI desktop tool and uh, in order to do some analysis or uh, to plot the charts, so we require one data set. So we'll download the data set from the Kaggle. So in our previous session, we have discussed about this uh, data set. How can we download it? Where you can get it, right? So this is a website where you can get the data set and where you can work on the data sets, right? So here on the left pan, you can observe the data sets. Click on here. So you'll be having a lot of data sets here. You can search with the, any keywords, right? Or uh, some default keywords will be available here. You can select this one. So I'll go with the education. And here there will be a lot of data sets related to the education. So I'll go with this one, students performance in exams. So we'll be getting a different, uh, I mean the tables uh, related to the students performance, right? So I'll show you the data set first and then it will upload the data set into the Power BI tool, right? So I have downloaded it. So let us go with the download option, Archive, and here you can find the student performance.csv. So as we discussed earlier, uh, this is true that the data set will be in uh, different formats. One is a Excel, XLS or another one is a CSV. Right now we are having some data. This is a downloaded data set. So there are first we'll see the fields. What are the different fields? So first one is a gender, right? Male or female. And the next one is a group, race or ethnicity. That means a group. And the next one is a parental level of education. So the education of parents and the lunch they offered or they provided. So it is having, I think, a two different categories standard or free reduced and the next one is a text preparation text preparation that is a I, there's also two categories one is none and a completed and three different scores math scores reading score and a writing score so these are the different columns we are having on the data set now we'll, we'll load the data set that means we have to import the csv file to the power bi so in order to do that just go here uh, get data and select the text or csv from these data sources we can load the data set right so our uh, data source is a csv file so i am selecting the text or csv so it, it, it asks for the location so i am just uh, selecting the location uh, yes open so it will start connecting and it will load everything into our Power BI. So before loading, it will prompt for load or transform data. If you want to need some changes, so you can do the changes or simply you can load the complete data set into your Power BI desktop tool, right? So you can observe the creating correction is model. Yes. So once it was done, yes, you can observe. Once it was done, see nothing happens here, but you can find the data option on the right side. So here you can uh, observe the data set right data if you expand this one you will be getting all the columns which you are ex, uh, your csv file is having gender lunch match score parental level uh, race or city reading score test preparation and writing score right so now you need to insert the chat that means if you want to visualize the data from this data set so you need to select one chat right so these are all the visual chats see bar and column charts line and area waterfall funnel scatter a pie, a donut and a tree map. So the, all these are different visualization graphs, right? So now in this session, we are discussing about a column chart. So we'll select the column chart. So you can observe here, this is a 
stacked column chat and this is a clustered column chat so first let us uh, show you about the clustered column chat so just click on that the template of that clustered column chart will be appeared here and here you need to give the x-axis y-axis legend small multiples and tooltips if required so if what is the x-axis now i'll just want to give this parental level of education on x-axis right or simply we can uh, yeah we can give the uh, yes parental level of uh, education see uh, i just click on this add data and click on this parental level of education here right so it will be reflected on our graph right and y axis on y axis just go for lunch count of lunch so how many of them need a lunch right so you can add the data here or simply you can drag this lunch to this y axis and now you can observe the column chat right so this is a clustered column chat and see if you want to get how many of male uh, students or how many of female students so you can go to the gender and uh, drag this gender to the legend so you can observe the gender and I, I mean male and female so you can observe here right so yes okay gender and if you want to increase the size that means a format if you want to format so this is all about our uh, column chat okay this is a clustered column chat this is a clustered column chat and if you want to format this one formatting means changing the font size colors etc etc so just double click on this one and you will be getting one uh, menu here format menu so you can observe here visual so size and style so expand this one so height you can decrease or increase the size see you can observe the chart size is being decreased okay it, it has been decreased you can now notice that one and width also you can see you can increase or you can decrease or you can simply uh, change the horizontal and the vertical levels and this is about the title so title is this one you can observe it's a very very low font so you can change the font here see you can change the font here you can change the font style so see this is a font style and we can apply a bold italic underline etc so all these formatting options can be done and you can also change the text color so i'll i'll go with the text color blue all right and a background color you can also go with the background color we'll change the text color with the white yes and also you can align the data so it, it, it by default it will be on the left alignment so i'll go with the center alignment yes see so this is all about our title and then subtitle if any subtitle is there you can change that and uh, see divider spacing etc etc all these are belongs to the title and now x-axis you can see the x-axis x-axis means so this one x-axis so you can increase the font you can observe the font has been increased right some college associates uh, uh, degree high school some high school uh, bachelor's degree master degree so you can also change the font see you can up you can see the change here itself right so you can change the color so you can change the color So you can change the color color has been changed you can apply a bold right so like this uh, this is a x-axis and a title on x-axis title so you can also increase the title of x-axis right you can change the color of uh, x-axis and similarly the same options will be available in your y-axis y-axis right see the range the range here it is 0 to 120 so you can change that you can change the range and a maximum you can give okay and 
if if, do, if you don't want to change it just give the auto right by default it will be taken right just a second yes okay oh. see y axis and in in the y axis the range and the next one values so the value size you can increase the size of the values and you can change the fonts and you can apply the color and bold and also the next one is a title so you can change the title see this is a title you can change the title right so like this you can have a different format options here so once you double click on this uh, chart automatically the format chart will be applied right uh, i mean it will be visible so there you can change the complete uh, data and this is all about our column chart that's also particularly clustered column chart now we'll see what is a um, stacked column chart so i'll remove this one and uh, once again i'll use the stacked column chart and here also i'll use the same thing we'll represent that in stacked column chart right so on x axis we'll take the same thing parental level and uh, on y axis we'll take the count of lunch on legend we'll go with the gender and see you can observe here so if the chart is in this way so that we call it as a stacked chart so one after another so you can see this blue color is a female light blue and a dark blue is a male okay so like this we can apply the we can use a, a stacked chart or a normal cluster chart okay so all the remaining options are same if you double click here you will get the complete formatting options x axis y axis and everything so you can change according to your interest right now how can we do the analysis let us uh, take the chart once again i'll go with the a cluster chart so on x axis let us go with the parental level of education and on the y axis we will go with the count of lunch and on legend we will go with the gender okay so we have done this one and the next one again insert one cluster chart so in this we will we'll see in this we will see x axis will go with the race or ethnicity that means a group and the next account of lunch so we are just getting the count of lunch based upon the grouping right so we are having a different groups based upon the group we are just going with the lunch okay so now you can see right so if you want to find the group c you can see if you just move your mouse over to the group c you can find that race or ethnicity is group c and the count of lunch is 319 right so if you want to get this count of lunch based upon the parental level of education and male and female just click on this column this bar so you can observe here the complete chart has been changed on the left one so you can see in group c the count of lunch is 118 and the highlighted is 44 which are a female okay that means a 44 female students are there where the parental level of education is some college and you can see uh, 108 count among this 108 highlighted is 24 that means a 25 is belongs to group c okay if you select a group d accordingly the complete data will be changed so the analysis can also be done in this way so if you select a particular bar or c so if you select uh, this one okay 
so if you select one group accordingly the male and female students based upon the parental law of education the analysis has been done automatically so which can't be done in the excel or any other tool right so that's why we call this power bi as a business intelligence tool so we can easily do the analysis and we can easily uh, visualize the data and we can easily give the report may, may, i mean we can easily design design the report okay and one one more thing see uh, one one more graph we'll draw so on x axis we'll take the test preparation we we'll close the format so one on x axis i'll go with the test preparation so none or completed on y axis we'll go with the gender gender right you can observe here gender see by default this one and if i go with the completed you can see the completed students in group c are 117 in in group d 82 in group b 68 in group e 60 and in group a 31 and among this 117 you can see 42 are female and 35 are male and here 42 are female and 40 are male so based upon the category right pa parental level of education and gender and here based upon the preparation test preparation course and based upon the group if you select this a group so you, you can see in group a so 58 students have not registered for any course and 31 students have completed the course right and from group e so there are different counts different counts from group c you can find a different count okay so like this we can do the analysis if you draw a multiple graphs so automatically if you select one graph that will be reflected on the remaining graphs so such type of analysis will be done in this power bi desktop tool right so let's stop here hope you understood this one so in today's session we have discussed about how to create the clustered column chart and stacked column chart right so hope you understood this one if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much